Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Multifamily Report. I'm your host, Travis Watts. And in today's episode, we are talking about correlation, meaning the correlation between private real estate and publicly traded REITs, which stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. So let's kick it off with just a simple, short definition. And I want to give you a visual example. So the entire spectrum of correlation goes from positive one to negative one, and it can fall anywhere in between these two numbers. So I'll give you an example. If something has a one correlation or a one to one, it means that if the broader market went up 1%, let's say all those stock indexes were up 1%, private real estate, for example, would be up 1% as well. And if the broader market fell 2%, that means private real estate fell 2% as well. A zero correlation means there's ultimately no correlation between the two. Stocks could be up 20%, private real estate could be up 4%. For example, purposes, there's no correlation. A negative one correlation means that it moves in the exact opposite direction. So if private real estate's up 3%, the broader stock market is down 3%, and it's always an inverse correlation. So with that in mind, let's look at the actual data points between private real estate and publicly traded REITs, as well as equities and bonds. So let's start by talking about volatility. So the chart that you see here on the screen shows the overall volatility of REITs, equities, private real estate, and bonds. And you can see that private real estate has a fairly low volatility compared to that of REITs and equities or stocks. In fact, 6.4% compared to 20.2% for REITs. Something to keep in mind as a multifamily real estate investor is that REITs are publicly traded. They are ultimately part of the stock market. And the stock market is generally run, at least in the short term, by consumer sentiment. So what that means is if people get scared or nervous, they tend to sell off their stocks, which puts downward negative pressure on the stock market and on REITs. Something else to keep in mind is that many publicly traded REITs are buying and holding the same types of real estate that we buy and hold here at Ashcroft Capital. The primary difference is we are not a REIT and we are not publicly traded. We are a real estate private placement. Taking a deeper dive into correlation, this chart shows the correlation of each asset type. If we start at the top of the chart with private real estate and we move to the right, you can see that private real estate has a 0.14 correlation to equities. So moving back to the correlation example, that's pretty close to zero, which suggests that there's little to no correlation. If we look at the correlation to bonds, there's a slight negative correlation. But again, this metric is still pretty close to zero. In a publicly traded REIT, may have the highest correlation to private real estate, as again, we're buying similar product type, but it's still pretty low in overall correlation. So this is something to keep in mind as an investor, if you're looking to invest in multifamily apartments this year or moving into 2023. I hope you found some value in this short episode. As always, if you have questions or want to take a deeper dive or learn more about investing in multifamily private placements, you can reach me at Travis at AshcroftCapital.com. Stay tuned for more market news and industry updates right here on Multifamily Report. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.